Hi everyone, I'm Dr. David Reith, and I'm here to talk about this week's Truth of Meter Tuesday question. Well, the topic was choosing the right size breast implants for women cons considering breast augmentation, and it had to do with the fact that technology is trying to creep in here and make a play for it. And the question we asked was that the only accurate way to assess the right size breast implant for an individual is to use computer-generated imaging. Um, we believe that is false, uh, and that's what most of you believe as well. We have looked at the past of the possibility of bringing in computer-generated imaging, but it just didn't look right. Um, there's several problems with it. People look different than a computer-generated image of them looks. If you look at a, a person in a science fiction movie and compare that to a computer-generated image of a person in a science fiction movie, they look totally different. Because a living, breathing person has different qualities. And to be able to move, to look at yourself, is much more important than trying to see what a diagram, almost an avatar-like image, looks like. The other problem is with these computer-generated imaging, they're not showing the entire body. It's so important to me to look at the shape of the breast in regard to the width of the shoulders, waistline, overall height, and general build of the patient. And you don't get that with these computer-generated imaging in their current iterations. But we're a fan of Sizer. Sizers have worked for us for a long time. It's not terribly high-tech, but a lot of times the things that work aren't high-tech. In fact, we have a couple girls in the office who work with these so much, they're known as the Sizer sisters. But if you're coming in for breast augmentation, what we do is we will put you in a bra and we'll put different ties, size sizers in the bra and we will look at you. You can put a shirt on, you can turn around, you can try different uh, size implants, you can try different types of clothing, you can kind of get an idea of what the weight of the implant will be. And this is really much more accurate, I think, in giving the patient an idea of what they're going to look and feel like after breast augmentation. So it's for this reason we like sizers. I'm all about technology that makes a difference in our hands and from our view, this technology isn't there yet. So, let's find out who this week's winner is. Crystal Foster. Congratulations, Crystal. You're this week's winner. We have a $100 gift card for you. Come on in and pick that up. And for everyone else, thanks for playing. We'll have another question next week.